Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back, guys. It's been a while. I've been visiting family, Thanksgiving, and all that good stuff. Um, if you're new here, hi and hello. This is a crafty channel where I sell vintage crafty supplies um, to those who are making crafty projects, from journaling to quilters to knitters to wool rug hookers. Uh, it just, the list goes on. So I thank you all for who those who do follow along and, and part of this and get to see the new supplies that are listed in my Etsy shop. Um, if, like I said, if you're new here, down below is all the links to follow. The Etsy shop, Instagram, Facebook. If you're part of the Facebook group, you get to get to see everything new that's happening. I try to do Instagram. I'm learning Instagram. I'm doing my best. Um, but um, I'm trying to get better at it. So, But Facebook is definitely the place to go, especially if you're a crafty person. If you are looking to um, add some of your crafty things that you do. If you have a shop and you make things, that's a great platform to post what you're making kind of thing. Um, my main goal is crafty, um, and I I am on that, that um, on the Facebook group, I sell the vintage supplies. So, all right, guys, I'm going to dig on in. I have 18 of these packs gift with each purchase. I was going to give you a peek of each pack. What you see is exactly what you're getting in each pack. I have listed, numbered each pack, so when you go to the listing, if you're interested in these quilted fabric uh, bundles, which here I have. Um, you'll see in the listing in the Etsy shop the number um, and the photo of that pack. So you can kind of choose what you want. I wanted to give you guys options because there's so many cute vintage bonnet girl um, quilted squares um, that are gorgeous. What I put together here was vintage quilts that are hand stitched, which of grandmother's flower garden, all the favorite kinds here. I at least give, I forgot, what was it one, two, three, four, five, six junk journal cover options for those who are junk journalers. This cute little mini one is adorable. So I can't wait to show you. I did a gift with each purchase that not just one, because each pack I put together, I put a gift in each pack where you have a vintage, either it's seam binding, um, trim, lace, and for instance, this one here is pack number one, um, has purple lace, it looks like blue, and then you have these vintage retro button card that comes with it. And this is the one that's coming with pack number one. I tried to, when I put the gift in each, match some of the colors that's going on here. An amazing pack. You may not want to waste your time listening to the whole thing around it. Get to that drop down menu, find that link and go over there and grab your pack. They're $34 um, and the bundle is packed. So let's go ahead and dig on in. I'm going to go through each pack pretty quick. Um, it's just going to show you the front kind of thing and then thereafter. Heads up, these are vintage quilts. These are handmade quilts. So there is some um, discoloration in some spots. There might be a stain. There might be, I went through and washed everything. Um, I made sure I didn't have anything too scrappy. These packs are not really scrappy to where they're dingy at all. I've made packs in the past where I made it clear what packs were scrappier than others. In this case, they're all very nice. I mean, I, I have no complaints. Once in a while, I'll see, um, maybe I'll find one, um, but it has the inside liner has like a light faded like watermark or like some kind of stain. But yeah, I made sure the outside covers were just beautiful. That was my main goal. All right, guys, I am rambling. So I'm going to show you pack number one. And each pack, I'm like I said, I'm going to pause, add another pack, and show you thereafter. I hope you guys love this bundle. I put a lot of time and love into this one um, and all that. So let's go ahead and dig in pack number one. Like I said, you get uh, the gift with purchase. You'll get two of these beautiful quilt blocks. And I'm going to get my measuring stick just in case. This is, like I said, this is pack number one, just in case you want to know what pack this is. But again, you go to the listing there in the shop, um, you'll see exactly the covers you're getting in your pack that you're getting. Um, 10 inch by 10 inch square blocks. Each pack is identical in the size. This one, pack number one, has these two. I'm not going to open up every pack. I'm just going to show you the front of each one. Because the main goal is so you can see the bonnet girl. Because I think all the other cuts are pretty much similar to each other. But aren't they gorgeous? I don't know if you guys have seen this one. Look at the little kitty cats. <laughs> so I went ahead and hand stitched these on, um, these appliques onto these those quilted packs. All right, so each pack is going to have two of these Grandmother's Flower Garden junk journal covers. 
for those who junk journal. This mini one was just a bonus. It just I had a lot of these pieces like this and I thought it was gorgeous. Could you imagine a little mini journal? So these ones here measure open. I'm going to open them up for you. It's about nine and a half by seven and a half. I don't know if you call that mini. I guess that's like a traveler size, right? But isn't that gorgeous? This is pack number one. And here we go. You can see this one here is called Grandmother's Flowers Garden. This one here, this pattern, it was hand stitched through and through, meaning each one of these pieces were stitched on the cover. And then when they quilted the quilt together, they hand stitched. Look at the pattern. Isn't that beautiful? Again, like some of these uh, covers may have like a light stain on the inside, which is just fine. It's been cleaned. Um, it gives it more of a like a, you know, vintage look. But this is, like I said, pack number one. What I like about the Grandmother's Flower Garden one is that no matter which side you choose, like for instance, if you want that to be your cover, you got yellow. You have choices. And if you don't want to make them into covers, you can cut these out. You know, it's just gorgeous. All right. Each pack is going to have a block just like this. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the, the cover for this here is 10 and a half by 14 and a half. So you want to know the cut. I use a rotary cutter so it is even and not, uh, not a rugged, like they're all going to be 10 and a half by 14 and a half. All right. So these quilt blocks are 15 by about approximately 15 by 15. I figured you could either journal with it, cut it to make it like a journal, or you can cut out pieces or I don't know, whatever you want. But this was hand stitched as well. This is machine stitched together and then hand stitch patterns around it. So you guys can kind of see the pattern. But this one is definitely through and through. It's gorgeous. And then you'll get two thicker quilt blocks here. These are called the nine patch. And um, you can see someone used, here's the inside liner and here's the back fabric of each, which you can if you wanted to. If you didn't want this thicker fabric, take your scissors and cut that out on either side because it looks like the only stitch work they did on the top is just that middle seam line. You see that? So cut that out, cut that out, and then you'll have a thinner piece. But if you're journaling, you just might want to have that piece cut a little bit. You cut out that this thick fabric right here put the seam around and you have a thin seam to where you have a cover with a thin seam around. That makes sense. I hope I made that sense. I understand as a quilter, but all right. So there you guys have it. You got two beautiful quilt blocks here, nine patch. You have this beautiful one. And then again, my all time favorite one, you got the mini one, which is gorgeous. I could totally see um, mother and daughter type of journals or just a little journal on top of a journal. I, that'd be cute. And then, of course, you got your two Bonnet Girl blocks, the gift with purchase. All right, that's pack number one. I spent plenty of time on that. The next ones, I'm just going to show pack two and then on to the next one. So let's check out pack two. Okay, here's pack number two. Again, you go to listing, you're going to see the two Bonnet Girls that you're going to get. This obviously has a retro. But I really wanted to show you kind of two the gift with purchase kind of thing. That is pack number two. All right, pack number three. Look at that beautiful blue cover one pinks. There's the little button. Here's pack number three. Again, like I said, you go to the listing, you will see the front of the whip bonnet girls you're going to get. Here's pack number four. We got the yellows and purples. We got blues. Uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong with whatever pack you're getting, but although I do see that this one here is a bonnet girl that has purple. So I see a lot of purples in pack number four. All right, pack number five. So I got this beautiful button card red and you get the green thing here. Retro greens going on here. I see purples too. Ah, I guess every color you can think of. Here is pack number five. Pack number six, green button card, blue lace pack. I see some blue bonnet girls and I see reds going on here and yellows. Fully retro. Here's pack seven. We got the yellow buttons. It looks like I got the purple lace trim. I see blue bonnet girl and there's another one in there somewhere. Look at orangey pinky. Check out the listing guys. It'll save you guys a lot of time. All right, here's pack eight. Like I said, they get it so fast. So maybe I want to just run out over there. <laughs> there's a bonnet girl who's red and there's another one in there. And the blue with gingham dress it looks like. Look at that button card. Isn't that gorgeous? That's pack number eight. Pack number nine, we got the greens and creams and the light purples, totally light ones. I see a pink bonnet girl and I see a blue bonnet girl going on there. That is pack number nine. 
All right, pack number 10. I got blues and pinks, um, as you can see here. All right, pack 11. I got pink. I got the green. Look at those beautiful green buttons. I made sure I picked out some really beautiful green buttons for you guys. All right, I see a retro red bonnet girl. Let's go on number 11. Sorry, that one was 11. Here's 12. As you guys can see, I'm on a roll. I'm trying to get some things done and get this out there for you guys. I spent, a light, like I said, a lot of time on these. Look at that purple bonnet girl. Looks like it got red. That is pack 12. Here's 13. Looks like I got beautiful blue girl. I got the orangey-ish girl. Here's 13. Here's 14. Look at that beautiful tiny cover in pink. Yellow, greens, and bonnet girls. I got the peachy pink. And then I have a beautiful, cute little blue paisley. Cute. Number 14 is very elegant and soft. All right, 15. Looks like I got this beautiful green buttons. Oh, Rick Rack trim on that one. Beautiful uh, blue miniature cover. I see purple. Oh, look at that beautiful roses on pack 15 on Bonnet Girl. Oh my God, I love roses. All right, and then ooh, look at that dress. Beautiful pack, number 15. They're all beautiful. I guess I'm just more partial to the beautiful roses. All right. So, and then um, number 16, look at that beautiful buttons, beautiful trim. Looks like we got beautiful blues in this one. And the little orangey and the cover has this beautiful pink. Look at that. That's 16. All right. 17. Beautiful. Look at that. Totally retro. All right. One more to go, guys. All right, number 18. I did this all in 11 minutes, guys. Not bad, huh? Or 12 minutes. Here we go, guys. Run on over there. Grab them. I've added some beautiful doilies and stuff to the shop as well. So take a peek, guys. Thank you for taking the time. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving holiday and on to Christmas, right? All right. You guys have a good one. Bye.